Hello everyone, let's talk about AI today. I did some updates to um, AI and NPCs in RPG Builder. The first one is that NPCs now have a mob type. So um, what you can see here, it can either be a mob, a rare or a boss. A uh, mob is just your regular enemies, um, nothing too um, specific about that. It's just your regular mobs, monsters, etc. A uh, rare mob is more, uh, as the name says, you know, uh, something you don't see as often. Uh, I didn't do much specificity to this one yet, but I will later. Today I would like to show you the boss one. So I placed a boss on uh, this testing map a bit um, further uh, this direction. And uh, you will see that when we get close to it, if he aggroes us, it's going to show this um, boss UI on top of our screen. So this, you know, will let you know, okay, you're not fighting a regular mob here, you're fighting an actual um, boss, so you might have to be a bit more careful. So this is nothing too fancy, it's just um, uh, the health bar, you know, that you can also see above the, the NPC right now. But uh, yeah, it's going to show um, the current health, and uh, it's just, you know, some extra indication that you're not fighting a normal mob. Um, I also wanted to show you something else. Let me quickly do something. Um, so concerning the NPC spawner. So let's get close to our character. Let's duplicate this one. So we have a spawner here. Um, the first thing I wanted to show you is that there is now a fourth spawner type. And this one is manual, but this one is purely for uh, developers. So this is not something you're going to be using in game. Um, but for the manual one, as you can imagine, it lets you uh, manually spawn NPC. So if I click here, you see that it spawned um, the NPC based on the rules you have here. So in this case, we wanted to spawn this one um, mage Eli NPC. So two things to say here. First of all, you see that uh, on the names now, uh, NPCs have levels. Uh, I mean, that's a pretty generic feature, but this was not implemented until today. So monsters, uh, I mean, NPCs can have levels, as you can see here, for example. They can have a minimum and a maximum level. So when they are getting spawned, um, a level is randomly picked between those minimum and maximum values. And these levels are actually um, having functions. They are not just visual. They are having some um, stats impact on the NPC. Because as you can see here, the human mage is getting an extra 50 health per level. So every one level is going to get 50 extra health. So that's one cool thing to do for your NPC. And that's another way to um, let you, um, you know, customize the stats for your NPC based on their levels and locations. And also, um, enemies are now rewarding you experience, which was also not a thing until now. So uh, as you can see here, minimum experience, maximum experience, and as well, there is a value for the level. So um, when you kill a human mage, it's going to give you between two and four experience. And for each level of this human mage, it's going to give you one extra experience. And the experience right now is going straight to your class. So. If I, um, let me get this spawner again, duplicate it, place it next to me. And this time we're going to be spawning a human mage because they are the easiest one to kill for now. So let's spawn it and kill it. If you look at the UI, wait, I'm going to maximize. So first of all, before I kill him, look at uh, bottom. You see that now we have an experience bar, which was also not here before. And uh, when we kill this mob, we get a five uh, plus five experience text here, as well as the um, experience bar going up. So that's pretty cool. And the last thing I wanted to show you is um, that, where did he go? Did he die already? I wanted to show you that I made it possible now for um, NPCs to fight each other. So here we have the uh, allied mage. So now we can not only have just passive um, ally NPC, but if I spawn this, you see that now 
um, they start fighting each other. So we have two mages, which kind of have the same abilities, but uh, this one is allied to us, so we can't attack him, we can't damage him, um, but um, he's fighting with us. So, you know, you could use this for many, many different things. You could use this um, in cities to have some guards. You can use this uh, in the forest if you want some animals to be allied to us. You could use this for many different things. Later, you will even be able to have pets and so on. So I think that's pretty neat. Um, I hope you like those changes. Let me know uh, in the comment and in the Discord. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.